Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a video for you today on a uh, repeat customer, return customer, and uh, it's Patrick from Ontario. So Patrick had sent me a couple months ago his Topps Puko and his uh, Mora wood carving hook knife, and I made him a couple sheaths, and he really liked my work, so he contacted me and asked me if I could make him a couple more things. So the first thing I'll show you is <clears throat> he just bought a wood lore knife which he said is his dream knife I don't have the knife with me but he sent me his sheath and he asked if I could adapt the belt loop on there and turn it into a dangler so I did but the one stipulation was he wanted removable snaps or not not the snaps are removable but to be able to take it on and off your belt without actually undoing your belt so uh, he sent me a picture of what he was looking at and this is what I came up with in response to that. So the one he liked that he sent me a picture of was a little bit of a thinner strap with single buttons down but because this is so wide um, which is necessary for the D-ring that I had um, I decided I would just do doubles so nice and easy and two more snaps and you can take the the belt loop right off this loop here. Added bonus, these snaps doubled up are a little bit stronger, so you have that. So, Patrick, I'm sorry I couldn't match the leather exactly, uh, but it's close, it looks alright, and uh, I hope this serves your, your purposes, my friend. Alright, so the other thing he sent me was his girlfriend's Spyderco uh, fixed blade, and I'm actually not sure what the... I guess is Yeah, I... I can't actually read the thing on there, but this is a very unique fixed blade, and this is her knife, so uh, the sheath for this one, which is typical of this style knife, is leather and comes pretty much all the way up the handle and just has like a fold over snap. Uh, she wanted the Kydex sheath to also come pretty far up the handle, uh, and if you notice, there's only a taper away from the blade and nothing to really grab onto. So, as I did with the Puko knives, I had to get a little bit of, a little bit creative and sort of just pinch in the part that's molded around the handle. But I did mold it pretty far up the handle. So that's why this throat here is so long. Uh, but it also does really help with the retention because most of the pressure on the handle is out here. So that was, that was pretty necessary. Now what she wanted with it was a carry method that could work with or without a belt so I put an ulti clip on here if you guys haven't checked these out they're very cool uh, all you do is slip that slip your belt or your waistline or your pocket or whatever inside here it works with molly and you just clamp it shut and it pinches and holds very low profile very sturdy so I really like this thing uh, she also wanted <clears throat> an exotac nano striker XL and Based on the colors that we got going on here, we've got uh, Cryptek Extreme Blood Red, and uh, this is Black Raptor. If you can't see, it looks like black leather, but it's really Kydex. Uh, so we got a black Exotac Nano Striker XL on there. Uh, sorry for the lighting; it's a little bit, a little bit wonky. Bring the light down there. There, a little bit better of a look at it. And she also wanted. A removable compass so here we have the Sunto clipper which is one of my favorite compasses is very compact takes very accurate readings and it's very good quality it's also got a little clip on it so you can clip onto your pocket your shirt whatever in this case uh, I made a little you can see I've kind of molded this out and you just slide the compass in there until it bottoms out should be nice and sturdy it's not just gonna pop off so that's pretty much what I got for you guys on this. Pretty cool little system. Uh, she also did want a thumb ramp on it, but I should tell you, the thumb ramp is mostly aesthetic. Um, I find it's kind of uncomfortable to even try using the thumb ramp with my fingers this far up, you know, near the blade. Um, and you don't really need to. You can just slide it out. But just to show you, the retention is very solid. Knife's not coming out of there. 
you'd have to take a pretty heavy spill for that to fall out. So, um, yeah, for me, I just kind of grab it with these two fingers and just pull it out. It pulls out really, really easy. So, I thought that was a cool sheath that you guys might be interested in checking out. So, all right, that's what I got for you today. Black Bear Custom Kydex, now doing snaps, removable danglers. So, if you're interested in that, contact me and we'll talk business. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like this project, if you like these sheets, please go down and hit the like button. And if you like my channel, hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next one. God bless.